Hello everyone, only a couple of days left of free access in race room. So as they say, make hay while the sun shines. This is at Zandvoort in the Netherlands. You might recognize the name of the guy in front of me on the grid, Peter Kill. He was in one of my videos, three videos ago, two-legged race. He and Danger David, the only guys driving what I think are group ones. The rest of us are in group three. When the relative comes up in a moment, you'll see cars either in red or green. My class GT3s are in green and I've qualified in pole position, third overall. 15 minutes. Okay mate, get ready. Green, green, green. Left side, yellow flag, green flag, incident clear, clear left, left side, clear left, yellow flag, green flag, you're clear, car left, yellow flag, still there, incident clear, green flag, car left, yellow flag, clear left, green flag, all clear, car left. So I managed to get the better of Danger Dave here and grab third place. I got really lucky as well as a guy lost it right in front of me. So at the moment we've got Peter Kill in first, Relic in second, myself in third and Danger Dave in fourth. Hold your line. Clear left. So I'm getting some sort of warning beeping there, but I have no idea what it's about. Sector one, yellow flag. In the meantime, I get taken by Danger Dave. That's put me back to a fourth overall. Take it back as Dave runs wide, so I'm back up into third overall. So I'm hot after Relic here in the hope of gaining first place in my class. I know those short little beeps are downshift protection, I know that much. You might notice that the readouts look a little different from what I've had previously in Race Room. I've got a new third party app for that, I think it's called Otter HUD Sim Hub. The regular HUD for Race Room doesn't have relative, and relative is something I really wanted. The relative being the readout halfway up on the right hand side. Blue flag. On your left. Hold your line, clear left, left side, clear left. Okay, so I think I've figured out what the other beeping is. It's proximity warning, because I'm just getting it when cars are next to me. Anyway, Relic's run wide back there, and I've been able to grab that position from him. That's now put me up into second overall and first in my class. Danger Dave is able to claim second place back from me. Yellow flag sector two. Car left, clear left. Green flag sector two. Dave runs way along there and loses two positions. So once again I'm back up into second, in third place is Relic, he's still hanging in there and behind him is Super Space Monkey.
So I see here that Danger Dave has been able to grab at least one place back from Super Space Monkey. Now he's up into third again as he overtakes Relic. The right tyres are cold. The gap behind is now 1.1 seconds. You've got 10 minutes left, 10 minutes to go. Side by side with Danger Dave here down the straight. We're going to battle for turn one. I managed to win it for the time being. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Garcia has retired. So it's really between Danger Dave and myself at the moment as the other guys are a little bit further back. I'm pretty pleased I've been able to hold him out so far. He's in a faster car than me. the wobbles a little bit there that's going to make him fall back a tad too hot to get it into a slide so danger dave gets ahead of me once again i'm back down into third overall we're halfway home we're okay on fuel green flag sector one sector two is now yellow hernandez has just retired So the guy in front of Dave here, he's a back marker. He's in the same class as me, but he's in sixth, so he's at least a lap behind. So Dave gets past him okay. Behind is now 2.0. Car right, clear right. He does the right thing there and yields.
see Dave's coming up to another back marker. Dave's overshot the chicane. White flag, mate. Yellow flag. Green flag, sector three. Clear right. You're clear. Incident clear. Keep it within the track limits. I did just clip Dave, but most importantly, missed the fence. The car seems to be okay. Yellow flag, sector three. Now, that guy's off into the pit, so I'm not sure if he and Dave actually made some sort of contact and that he's now off into the pit because he has a damaged car. Either way, I'm now up into second overall with Relic not too far behind me. As you can see, there's no HUD readouts on the trackside cam, but it's around this time on the in-car that I get a message that Danger Dave has quit the race. Best as I can tell now, I'm just starting to leave Relic behind. with there as I take my eyes off the road to read the HUD stuff. Something I still do despite the amount of times I've tried to tell myself not to. He's dropped right back. This corner coming up here is a really deceptive one. Got to get out wide to come in tight like that. A lot of guys don't seem to realise. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Two minutes probably means just one more lap to go. In my class, Jim, in my class. But in relation to my class, if you look in the top left-hand corner, one of 12. So I'm pretty happy I've absolutely smashed the opposition.
couple of corners to go now. So, home first in my class, second overall, pretty good result. And as always, thanks again for watching everyone.